All right, Jose Cross, you asked for it. Now you wanna see it. All right, so right now I'm in my house garage and that's a really simple reason why I'm in my garage and not in the lake fishing. It's because it's a hundred million degrees outside. <laughs> uh, and from my last two videos, one, the announced of my uh, membership on the American Car Society uh, so the first logo that you guys just saw there well that logo will be featuring in all my uh, videos from now on and it's for one reason only and one reason only is that I want you guys people that watch me to get to know American Car Society uh, what we do uh, and I say we because I'm a member and uh, it's a great thing for the sport all right so there's two uh, from my other video uh, how to take care of fish on the summer uh, I got some comments and some people that approached me uh, when they saw that video I guess the angle and the filming thanks uh, to Martin Rogers wife the uh, did a great job recording <laughs> uh, and my wife Fabiola did a great job recording without even me asking to record me uh, you can see my my rod pub, my my uh, alarms my rods and all that stuff and a lot of people say man Christian hey did you win the, the lottery I was like no I did not <laughs> uh, all the people were really curious about you know my setup and the whole video right now is gonna be about all the gear that I use when I go fishing for carp. Uh, but I cannot start talking about my uh, fancy gear without actually being realistic about my carp fishing because yeah I did not have a rod pod when I started carp fishing. Matter of fact when I catch those two cars right there, I believe those cars and those buffalo back there I didn't even have a rod pod or alarms or well actually I did have a rod pod but no fancy 12 foot rods I was actually fishing actually my two biggest carp I'm sure, my, my two biggest carp and my biggest buffalo was caught in a simple cheap setup which one is it this rod right here which is a rod that I pick up on Academy for seven dollars. Okay, this is a uh, hold on. It's a classic edition seven foot seven foot of one rod that had handled a thirty-two pound common carp, a twenty-six pound uh, smallmouth buffalo and several other cards uh, and a really cheap unexpensive uh, reel it's called uh, Daiwa Strike Ford $14.99 from Dick's Sporting Goods yeah this bad boy right here I landed really good fish quality cards so I, I feel that I have to be realistic with all my viewers if I'm going to be talking about fancy gear. Uh, because more than anything, I'm a budget fisherman, which most of everybody around here are budget fishermen. And if you look really back on my videos, every single of those rods were featured in some of the videos because I didn't have fancy rods. All those are from Walmart and uh, Academy and... Uh, Dick Sporting Goods. Yep. So that is the reality of who I am as a fisherman. But now in these days, thanks to friends, the envidios, 
and many things, many search. I have dipped into more uh, a specific gear to car fishing. And that's how the video started. Okay. First of all, my rod pot. Oh, my rod pot. So my rod pot is uh, 30 something dollars uh, from Amazon. Uh, looks kind of like the NGT, but it's not an NGT actually. I don't even what's the I don't I don't even know what's the brand. If you look bad in uh, the previous uh, inexpensive gears, I uh, talk about this rod pod, uh, and uh, really simple, man. I mean, it's not the most fanciest one and nothing like that, but it has done the work. I put this rod pod and really to work. Uh, and I have no, I haven't had any problem with it actually. It holds uh, my rod, my 12 footers, without no problem. So, second item is my bio alarm. Lixada bio alarm car fishing, again, from Amazon. I picked four of this uh, and a set for $26. I believe it was. I remember I said I pay eighty dollars basically with shipping and all that stuff for the quarter by alarms and my rod pod. Really good, can't complain. I haven't bought any other ones and I haven't bought any other fancy ones. That's because they're still working. They have done the job and uh, cannot complain about it. They have. Uh, they use nine volt batteries. Which is really convenient because you can get pick up a knife about it in any other any store. So uh, there it is again. Let me take it. Let me give you a look, a closer look to the bio alarm. So that's the bio alarm right there. Uh, I'm sure if you go to Amazon and search bio alarm, you would actually find exactly this one. So you have a volume, a tone, a sound, and a button, and on and off. That's it. So I, I picked four of those for $26 and they do the job, man. You know, that's it. Simple. And then to turn it off, you have to hold it for a minute and that's it. They're off. Simple. Nothing fancy about it. So now my rods, uh, 12 full rods, uh, they are from NGT uh, again NGT is one of the brands that I use because I'm a I'm a budget fisherman okay uh, I have to really watch what I spend and I spend a lot of money on car gear like a lot of people you guys uh, but I love car fishing I love uh, I want when I when I pursue a fishing style I want to fish with the right gear so I, I come with it myself with my bills and my life and my hobby, which is car fishing. So this one's, these three rods separately, 12 foot rods, uh, two piece, 2.75 pound uh, tesker, which is the pounds and the strength that needs to be, uh, needs to do to bend the rod, basically. 2.75 pounds so which is basically I, I believe 2.75 is uh the more sensitive and more flexible rods and no the car rods that you can buy i mean but these bad boys right here had done the job and they had done they have done the job they uh perform if you want to see a really hardcore performance of these rods just watch my video and i'm alone i mean they did a great job pulling fish from really far and really deep water. 37 pound grass cards, 20s, 18s, and 14 common cards. Can't complain, man. Cannot complain. $30 from Big Car Tackle. Uh, cannot complain at all. Uh, they're called Carp Max and NGT. Let me, just, let me show you a, a closer look of how the rods look. So like I was saying, there it is right there. NGT CarMax 12 foot 2 piece, 2.75 pound 
five, 7.5 pounds. Uh, there are 12 footers. And uh, <laughs> they are awesome. Cannot complain, man. Cannot complain. They, they fit really good on my rod. Uh, they're pretty steady. I ah, can't complain, man. Can't complain. So, next step is the reels. What reels I use? Simple. I use, uh, I got two rod, I mean two reels. Mwah. Okay, go, go. All right, so when I, when I bought these three rods, I was uh, kind of trying to match it with something that was similar and I picked up the uh, Dynamic 6000 Car Runner from NGT. I got two rod, two reels matching with my rods from NGT. My only complaint about this one says when I went to Amazon, I dipped it in water because I was learning how to cast 12 foot rods. And they said that, you know, if you dip your reel, and uh, I was using uh, mano, but they said when you loop with water, it will help you to cast farther. So when I did that, I noticed that one of the reels was starting to make a weird noise. It was, it's still smooth and it's still uh, working. I haven't actually had to replace it, but it does kind of feels when I reel fast, it just feels kind of weird. That's my only complaint. Uh, maybe I'm crazy, but I cannot complain, man. Uh, they are working. They come with two spool, one metal, one plastic. So I have one spool with 20 pound braided and another one uh, another spool with mono, which I use Berkeley games, uh, 12 pound, uh, and worked just fine. Uh, I, that's what I was using in Amazon, and if you don't believe uh, how they work, just watch the video. Let me take a, let me show you a closer look of this reel, uh, real quick. So ladies, that's a reel, that's a reel, so it had dual handle. And I pretty like it, it's pretty nice, I mean, it's just, uh, that's, that's a two reel. I have, I'm, I, I, at this moment I have the mano with the plastic uh, spool. Uh, so, you know, it has the bay runner in the back and, you know, the fighting drag. And I can't complain, man, and there are $26.99 on beef car charcoal. Again, this uh, budget uh, fisherman's <laughs> life that I have. I uh, wanted to have the rod and reels ready for some fishing that I was going to do in Dallas Ford on uh, in the Labon Lake Carp and Bob competition. And I also, before buying these three rods and three reels, I was experimenting and if I ever had to replace these two, I would get this bad boy right here. Bam! This is the Daiwa Regal 5000 BRI. This reel, this reel is freaking amazing. Smooth. It's hard, comes with two spool. It runs for like $50 on Amazon. Man, I love this reel. Uh, I, I would have really, I should have wait and get two more of this one instead of those. But I did not wait, uh, but this reel is freaking amazing. Again, as you know, it's a bay runner. Uh, had the activated drag. And uh, man, I just love this reel. It feels so good on my hands when I'm really a big fish. Uh, I have 15 pound mano Berkeley here. I got 12 pounds in there. And you can see the different why because this is a much bigger spool. Uh, this reel is awesome. 50 pound, $50, uh, but it's worth it, man. It's worth it. Uh, and uh, it's rated salt water. So you can dip this bad boy in water. You can take it to salt water, you can take it to fresh water, you can do anything with this reel, and it just performs so awesome. I love this reel. Uh, I really highly recommend it. So that's it. That's my rod reel setup. Uh, I use 15 pound when I use mono, 12, and I use 20 pound braided when I use braided. I don't feel I don't need anything else stronger than that. All right, let's get going. What's next? One of the newest items that I've picked up, actually, I found this one on uh, in which the app, man, they, if you search carp fishing or carp tackle, they have so many things that you can buy uh, from leads, from hair rigs, from hooks, from uh, what I, the item that I'm about to show you. What is it? It comes in this fancy, nice looking bag, case, 
and uh, this is Armour Swingers. They are the same brand of my bio alarm, and there's a big reason why. <laughs> because the Swingers comes in three colors. This is the blue one. Uh, you connect this. I'm about to show you. You connect this to your alarm, and it lights up. And then it's really great for night fishing. This is a way so you can use the pen the attention that you have in your uh, uh, rods and the line. You can just balance and how much you want them to swing to hand. Uh, it comes this, this, and this is the part that you attach to the swinger. You put in your rod pot and then they swing. Woo! And this is the blue color. So the blue color. That's my, how my light in here is gonna, gonna shine when I get a bite. I'm gonna show you that in the dark. I'm gonna turn off the light, I'm gonna turn off the bio alarms, and you will see how they, how they flash with colors pretty often. Alright, so that's the three uh, swingers already together with the bio alarms. This is where you connect it. They have a little uh, plug in there where you put the wire. So the first one. It's gonna shine yellow and then red and then green. So let's see it. I'm gonna turn off the light and let's see it. So there you have it. Those are my swingers. Uh, pretty awesome. Uh, I haven't used them much, but they were uh, showing my uh, summer carp fishing with the two buffaloes and the carp and lake work. Uh, uh, I haven't tried it at night, at night yet, because they're meant for night uh, night fishing with this light, but they're awesome. I mean, I, just the fancy thing that they chime is pretty cool, right? Uh, so, those my swingers. Next item. Oh, before I continue with the bio alarms, I forgot to mention the, the swingers. I picked up this one for uh, $36, I think. That's a set of four. Uh, and I know that the swing, swingers are kind of expensive. they kind of fancy. Um, they work really good. And I, I recommend it, you know. And that will be the first item that you should buy, but you should have some with swingers. Anyway, so, right there. What is this? My cradle. Everyone to see this thing. <laughs> hey man, what is the cradle? Where you got it from? Uh, how much you pay for it? All that stuff. So, this is the Quick Fall NGT again. Uh, cradle. I have put a 21 pound uh, grass car and a 19 pound common carp and am alone park in this thing. No problem. She wants to be in the video. <laughs> uh, also a 37 pound grass car, a 34 pound grass car, and many, 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 many other grass cars in am alone park and uh, and. Uh, Common cards, no buffaloes that they said. Oh, sorry. Anyway, that's my dog bot. Uh, let me show you the. Let me show you the. Let me show you the cradle. That's my cradle. It's dirty. Well, because I have been using it. So, like I say, this is again NGT. Uh, quick fold. Cradle. Uh, it has standable leg. If you have a hard time, you you know bend over or whatever, you know, uh, you can raise them up uh, from the side. This is one of the be best feature about it is these pockets right here. So when you, as you guys saw on my previous video, you can put this on the water, keep the keep the fish on the water. Uh, breeding uh, and safe and healthy and uh, you know it's for carp and fish care you know not only for carps if you have the, the big catfish a big uh, 
gar, uh, the buffalo, uh, pike, whatever you fish in your area, you can put a big 30, 40, 50 pound there fish and uh, a whole about 300 pounds. I think it's resistible. It's really good. It's nice. Uh, let me show you. Uh, if your fish is getting all rowdy, you know, or if you have a double run when you are on hooking a fish. So, like I was saying, if you, uh, the two side pocket, it's really good. You can put this on the water. It fills up with water to keep the fish safe. Uh, if it's flap and he just get all crazy, fine. What we do with cars start flapping and uh, trashing out and everything. We cover the eyes, right? So this bad boy comes with a cover, a big cover. Let me angle this a little bit better. There you go. A cover, so you can just cover your fish, let them relax, let them chill out, and then you can just get it, take all the pictures that you want, and then release it back in the water safely. Also, if you are hooking a fish, or you have a fish in here, and you get a second run, or a third run, and you by yourself, this is on the water, the fish is safe. Just cover them up, that way the sun doesn't affect it, and he just don't jump out of the cradle and go, and you can't really, and you lose your picture. Just cover them up. Uh, that's nice, very cool. And uh, if you finish fishing, quick okay. fall. That's a nice velcro. And just put it around your shoulder and keep going. How much is this? Eighty dollars. Seventy-five, seventy-six dollars for shipping. I got this one. Which actually, my wife got me this. From, for my birthday last month, uh, she was really worried that I was gonna go to Emma Long College without having a cradle or a nice uh, unhooking mat to take care of the fish. So she actually went in for my birthday. Do I have the best wife in the world? Yes, I do. She bought me fish and stuff. <laughs> uh, also, this thing has a pocket over here with a mat. And you say, what is this for? Well, let's say you are uh, hooking or working with your fish in a rocky area, but with this pad that you can put it right here on the floor, knee on top of it, work with your fish. If you are, if, it, if you don't have the crate in the water, you are in a pan that's dirty, it's uh, rocky, you know, stuff like that. Kind of fancy. You can establish anything that you need if you want to establish something on your plate. Uh, ladies, uh, eighty dollars from uh, from eBay. I'm sure. Uh, I heard the big car tackle has this one too, the quick fold. But I heard this actually sold out, and I think uh, eBay. You know, I don't know who's selling on eBay. Maybe San GT or somebody else. But uh, I pay eighty dollars. Well, my wife paid eighty dollars for this thing, uh, and it works great. It's really easy to care, it's not heavy, uh, and uh, it works really good for any type of fishing that you do. Even if you want to put a bluey on there, I'm sure it works. So a couple more, I couple more items and I'll be done with the video. I know it's a long video, but uh, I wanna, really want to do this video because um, there's guys out there that they are in the kite fishing and they think that everything that they see in pictures and videos is really expensive. And it could be expensive if you're trying to buy everything at once. I mean, if you're trying to buy all the stuff that I have already, uh, yeah, it can be expensive. But it could be a lot more expensive if you don't know how to chop. And I, uh, it's not that I never want to buy a $600 setup or whatever. It's just it's at this moment of my life, I had to watch what I spend. Uh, so I know a lot of people are asking, hey, Christian, but uh, before the, the hooking mat, what you used to do? But I used to keep my, my fish inside of the net uh, use a jogger mat and my body Finley uh, give me a little bitty unhooking mat. <laughs> this unhooking mat, I keep I keep using it. It's actually dino di, dice more sick. I don't even know how you say that word. 
uh, it's for a big tackle, big, big car tackle. It's cost seven dollars actually. Uh, and uh, how I use it? Well, if I'm gonna go to a small place, there's I know there's small fishes, and uh, it's gonna be uh, hard for me to take the cradle down because there's no bank to put the cradle, or it's too deep for me to put the cradle inside of the water, or I have to walk really far distance. I still take this because uh, you have to take care of your fish uh, because. That's how we do as a carp angler. We take care of our fish, we catch and release, and we want to release that fish back in the water and then come back a month, two months, three months, and a year and catch the fish again with 10 pounds more. Am I right? So, yeah. So, I'll hook it, Matt. If you still, if you cannot afford something like this, you know, your, your net, your yoga mat, I mean, just do something to take care of the fish that's all you need to do uh, and uh, another item with this bad boy right here I don't have a European uh, a European net yet so I picked this folding uh, it's then five foot long uh, and it's a uh, nice net with 37 pound cart grass cart in this thing uh, and it's and it's from it's from uh, Bass Pro Shop. It's for cost thirty four dollars. And I'm in Texas. In Texas, we have a lot of rods. We have a lot of stiff banks. And uh, I've been fishing with guys with uh, European style style nets, and they have a hard time. And we actually end up using my net uh, to net all the fish. Uh, so so far so good. Cannot complain. And the pole. Like this, and you can just put it in your bag or in your car and carry it around. Uh, it's great, it's a great bag. Uh, I bought this after uh, I broke my cheap one for $20 in Walmart. So I went and got me something stronger, and uh, some parts, cars, catfish, buffaloes, cars. Still hanging in there. So, thirty-four dollars worth every single penny that I spent for it. So, last item, last but not least. Yeah, you saw the stuff that I show you, <laughs> and you have to carry that uh, sometimes for your fishing spot, and it's just hard doing back and forward. So, you need something to carry. Uh, if you look at European videos, you see these people with this wheelbarrow, wheelbarrow uh, style car. I picked this bad boy right here from Academy for forty dollars on sale this summer. I put all the stuff that you saw in this bad boy. Works just fine. That's the same thing that a wheelbarrow. I know. I don't even know how much those things were. I'm sure they're gonna be expensive. Because they're fancy. Uh, but this thing right here, still pretty clean because I haven't used it much. But last weekend I went and put all my gear in there, went down to a spot, fish, gas con, <laughs> summer, and, uh, and went back to my house. With, I mean, went back to my car with this, fill up, load up. It falls pretty cool. Let me show you. So it falls. Bam! Like this. Yeah. Put that back in the back of your car. You're gone. Forty dollars. That's a fancy camo looking color. Uh, I was lucky. I was not looking for this, but hey, it was a match with all my stuff. So great. All right, guys. All right, guys. This is it. Uh, I'm sorry that we don't have any fishing. It's just because. I've been going out fishing and I haven't caught any fish this past weekend. I got skunk uh, Sunday with two other friends and I took the chance because I really wanted to do this video about all my gear and uh, I finally got it out of the way. Uh, and uh, it's inexpensive car fishing gear that you can buy uh, and start fishing and maybe you can catch me in the next TV. I hope you do. Uh, so this is Christian, 
And if you have any other questions, please comment and make sure you check out uh, AmericanCarSociety.com uh, if you are uh, want to learn more about fishing, about, about car fishing, check out my video, check out American Car Fishing, American Car Society. <laughs> uh, so I hope the next video we get some more good, good action. Um, I'll be of course going out fishing and, re and recording it so that I get any fish, right? Uh, but if this is it today. Uh, it's a pretty long video, I know, but I really want to touch, talk, touch bases and show you the gear that I have uh, bought for the last months and the last uh, season of fishing. Uh, but that's it. This is it. Fish on later.